Hello guys and welcome back to EV with Rafi. So today we will be experimenting how safe are these lithium ion batteries which you can see right here. We'll be experimenting with these. Like we will be overcharging them, we will be short circuiting them. We will even test what happens if we get into an accident. Like we will be colliding this into the ground and see how does it react. So let's get started with this experiment. So okay guys, so we will be experimenting over here. We have a GoPro over here placed and other angle is over here and the next angle is even this phone. So for safety, we are having sand and we are having water, okay, for in case, mostly we will be using sand only. Then next up we have a battery, we have few lithium ions and we have connectors, we have armor, we have a cutting player and most importantly, we need these gloves, okay, and cloth is in case we need. So let's get started then. You may be wondering why I am wearing sports shoes because I have to run if something happens bad. So first off is overcharging. So here I am using 12 volt 8 amp lead acid battery and this is a lithium ion battery. So we will be charging with this to this. So let me place this over here. Let me check this is a negative. So the black one is negative. So I connect with the black. Okay. And next I am connecting the negative to the negative. Okay. Now we got the positive, we are connecting the positive, okay. First of all, let me show you how much is this voltage is, wait, so here we have a multimeter, okay, multimeter, this for the lead acid, you can see it's 11.69 volts, okay. Now let's see, uh, let me show you the lithium ion, how much is this one. Okay, so the negative, huh? So for this one, it's 3.36, you can see over here, right? Now, okay, now let's start it. Now it's over here. Now we are going to connect 12 volts to 3.7 uh, volt lithium ion battery, okay? So let me first throw this aside. One, two, and three. So here we are charging a lithium ion with the lead acid battery of 12 volts to 3.7. So let's check does it have a protection circuit or something. You know like maybe will it burst or something what happens if it overcharges. So we are leaving it for right now for five minutes. So I'll let's check back what happens after five minutes okay. It's been like over five minutes. I place this like this. So let's check out what happened right now. Okay. So first off, let's unplug it. Okay. So let me remove this so that to check. This is fine. And this, it just heated up a bit, like a light. It, it just heated up very slow, like not that much. So let's check back. What is the voltage? You guys can see. Mm, positive. So this is negative. Okay, and here goes the positive. So previously it was 2.3, it's charged guys, like it was 3.33, now it was 3.66. So it, it is charging, but it's risky. Okay, we can try this, but it's not, it's not recommended. We'll be doing the short circuit test. Okay, what happens if it short circuits? Let me wear back my gloves. This is important. So, first off, let me show you how, what is the voltage of this battery, okay? So, you can check it now, see the negative. See, it's 3.77 volts, okay? It's fully charged. Let me show you what happens right now, okay? Okay, now this string, see. See it got burned. You can see, you saw? Now let's take the single string again. Now let's place it again and let's do it again. See, see it got burned. So like that, if I do like this slowly, slowly, all the strings will get burned. Okay, so now let me show you like this is like real hot. This became hot guys, okay? This is hot right now. Okay, let, let's just throw it away. Over. 
Now let's go back to the next experiment where we will be slingshotting these batteries. We will be throwing it away down to see what happens. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, so now we are going to slingshot it with this to this battery. First off, let me show you what is the voltage. Okay, again, so it is 3.6, it's almost 3.7. Okay, now what happens if we slingshot a full charge battery? Then next, I will even show you what happens if we slingshot an empty battery, like null battery, and even a 75% charge battery. So let's hold it. Come closer. So actually the battery is pretty much damaged. You can see. Now let's see what happens if I hammer it out. Okay. I'm just throwing it aside. This is a hammer. Okay. Let's it aside. Okay. Now. Now. This is strong guys, this is strong. So till now I think nothing happened majorly. Let's go check the temperature. It became super hot, like full hot. It is super hot guys and it is smelling bad. It's not smelling good. It's not smelling good. So what we'll do is, we'll take this punch hole. Okay. It's hot right now. It is smelling. See, now you can see it's, it's now you can see it's, uh, the vapor is coming out. Come closer. Now you see. It's leaking. You can see. It's leaking, guys. I powdered it. I think I hammered it away badly. Now you can see it's still liquid is coming out from there. And what happens if I break it again? Okay, do not try this at home. Never. It's, it's fumes, fumes are coming from there also. See. So this is how it is looking. Okay. I guess probably it is hot. Fumes are still coming out from it. Yeah, see guys, I smashed it out completely. You can see the layers of your, you can see the layers over here. See the layers properly of lithiums. It is gone. The battery is gone guys. The battery is gone. If you want me to more shatter it more. It smells bad. It smells very bad. This is how it looks from inside. Let me show you. See, it's hot, way hot. You want me to show you how hot it is? Water. Now you guys see what happens. See, it is reacting with just water. Now we are going to blast this. Let's see what happens if we hammer it or if, if a battery or if an electrical meets an accident, what happens? Does it really burn or does it like explode as you see in the internet right here in the YouTube? There are many videos. 
I'll be posting it, showing those also. So now we are having a Samsung battery. So you can see I'll show it close up. This is a Samsung battery we are having. Let's check the voltage of it first. So that you know we'll be ensure that what happens if it is full charged or you know like less charged. So it is overcharged. It's almost four. Like it's completely new. As you can see. Okay. With the four volts. Now let's check what happens if we blast this four volts. Okay. So for this, first off, let me wear my gloves properly. Okay. Now I'm placing it on this. I'm taking this nail. Okay, do not try this at home, guys. I'm placing it like this over here. It's not standing. I'm placing it like this right over here. And one, two, three. So now we need a hole, but nothing is. It's not reacting that much. Okay, let me place it over here, Ali. You guys can see it turned black. <laughs> it's, it thinks way badly, guys. It's not that good. Now let's try to water it. I'm adding some water. See, you guys can see. You guys can see the fumes, the reaction of lithium. It is hot. The battery turned out very hot. So it is dangerous, guys. These fumes are very dangerous. And you can see the black chemical all down. So it's still burning. It is still going on, guys. It is still going on. So till then, what we'll do is we have another battery. We have another battery. You guys can see. Let me show you what is the voltage of it. Okay. Okay. So this is around, I think, empty or one volt something. So it is empty, guys. It is zero. Okay. It's nil. Considered nil. While removing this in the previous video, I think I hit it with a screwdriver. You guys can see there's a hole here. So let's check what happens now. That battery is still going on over there. So let it go on. Okay. Now let's work with this one and check out it's zero. Okay. That was full. Let's check what happens to a zero. It isn't reacting that much because it is zero, like not charged, no charge. You guys can see. Oh shit! <laughs> the battery launched itself over here. Let me bring it. <laughs> it launched itself over there. Now. Let's burst it. Let's make a hole first. Nothing is happening, guys. See, nothing because it's zero. I broke it. Nothing is happening, right? Now let's check out what happens if I pour some water on it again. Okay. Hmm. Light a little bit of reaction. There also only a little bit of reaction to show you how it is happening. See, only a little bit of reaction is happening because it is zero. Here also it is happening. We can say that these batteries are dangerous because see, still this one, still this one, come over here. This one is still reacting. See, this was a full charged one, right? Let me hold it. See, it is still reacting. You guys can see, it is still reacting. Okay, so these batteries are dangerous. Lithium batteries are dangerous. That is why they are kept in an enclosure, like the enclosure which they make outer shell or what outer body. It's very strong for cars like Tesla, Indian cars like uh, you can even see Nexon, Hyundai Kona. They are all made of that thick shell. 
and it increases the weight first of thing and the first thing is these batteries making a bit a big battery pack it will increase the weight so that is why they'll make more enclosure of it so that it, it stays strong even if you collide even if something goes prick into it that enclosure should be strong enough so that the batteries going, don't get damaged this was about lithium batteries how safe are they okay and you can find many videos on internet right now you are watching all of these so these are many what all what happened with these like there sometimes suddenly a vehicle gets the burned out or some suddenly may happen something so be safe be careful while using them thank you